Alrighty, so I'm back from my break, and we are ready to hold the line against all those Seleucid bastards that are coming across. I actually had a thought about that, I had a new idea, and I'm thinking that what we might do is we might plonk an army on this ford, we'll keep Sabinus's army here on this bridge, and we'll put a third army on that bridge, because there are no other fords, there's no other ways out of this area. So hopefully we can funnel all of their forces into this sort of uh, pocket, if you will. That that would be the ideal. If we can funnel them into this pocket and just bottle them up, keep them there. If we could even steal a march behind them and just put armies here and here as well, just keep them in there, I would be okay with it. If we can manage that. I don't think we can though. I'm hoping that what we can do is we can just push perhaps next turn or the turn after, we can just smash our way up here and hold the bridge, but this army in here is a problem, because this army could conceivably attack one of those armies holding the bridge from behind, and I don't have the forces to besiege it right now. We don't yet. We will soon, but right now we don't have them. We need to, uh, need to hold the line and just basically keep them from attacking up this way, which is a problem. I also did a bit of Google while I was having my break, and I realized that I've been doing something wrong. I've been treating this uh, promotions thing as if he would win Battlefield promotion. When I shouldn't have been doing that, because that's not really... It sort of was, I guess, in a little bit, but it was more for the common soldiers than the generals. In the Roman Republic, it was mainly politicians, and this was true for the Empire as well, but I think to a lesser extent after Augustus and uh, those sort of people, especially after the Equites kept uh, started taking over more of the old Senate patrician classes' roles. But uh, in the Republic, generally soldiers were given a commission. So like Caesar was given a commission to attack Gaul and Scipio Africanus was given a commission to fight in Spain. Uh, you were given what was essentially a political office military command. It, it doesn't make a whole heap of sense. Hopefully when I explain it, it, it'll make a bit more sense. But essentially, all Roman commanders were amateurs. At the... Uh, at, that's basically what they were. At the bottom of it. They were, they were amateur commanders. Nobody really was a general general in the sense that we say our generals are commanders now. They didn't go to staff college. They didn't go to... Well, they had tutors that taught them a little bit about history, and sometimes they would teach them a little bit about command, but they didn't have a dedicated school of it. There was no officer corps as such in the ancient Roman world. Mo mainly soldiers were politicians. Even Cicero was a soldier at one point during the uh, social wars, I believe he was a soldier under Sulla. And Licinius Crassus, Marcus Licinius Crassus, he was a soldier under, under uh, Sulla as well. And Pompey was a soldier. There was a lot of uh, politicians that were soldiers, because amateur commanders was the thing. Even Scipio Africanus was an amateur. He was very, very good. He was a very talented amateur, but he wasn't a trained commander, as we would understand it. So I've been treating it a little bit wrong, because the idea is that after you finished your service, your, uh, your commission, you would go home and you might run for a different political office, or you might apply for another command if you wanted to. And I haven't sent him home, so he can't become a legate, he can't get promoted, because he hasn't been away from the army. I should really kind of figure that out, considering it says right here, if a second full season has been ended with him away from any Roman infantry troops in the field, he will be considered to have completed his service as a tribune, and will receive the title former tribune, and then he can be promoted. Because he's been in the field a long time. He should have been promoted ages ago, I think. I'm pretty sure he's been in the field a while. So what we're going to do is we're going to send him home. Because even the great generals need a rest. And sometimes in the ancient Roman world, uh, generals who were very successful would go back as seconds in command or something like that. Like uh, Scipio Africanus himself, who was, you know, the hero, if you will, of the Punic War. The Second Punic War. I, for his deeds in Spain, he went to war as a legate, as a command, as a commander, but not the overall general of the Roman forces under one of his brothers. I think it was. I'm pretty sure it was his brother. It was a brother or a cousin, and they campaigned in this area, and it was 
Scipio Africanus was a very interesting man. Very, very interesting. He uh, He's also famous for having turned up to a trial where they were putting him on trial for corruption. Or uh, It was Cato, so Cato was kind of his enemy, and he was going, Well, I must sully, I must sully his name. And so they put him on trial with his brother for an absence of funds in the army that they took to the east. So they, they were missing like 500 talents or something like that. And Scipio Africanus rocks up to the courthouse and in front of everybody rips up the record books and basically goes, I challenge you to tell me that I'm lying. Come on, I dare you. Very theatrical, very cool, but not his best political move. He was not a very, very good political man. Like Marius, he, uh, he had his issues when it came to politicking because he'd been a soldier for so long, I'd imagine. But anyway, enough with the history lesson. This is Let's Play Rome Total Realism with Grey Hunter, not Let's Listen to Historical Stuff that Grey Hunter has read. So let us continue. Um, I think Captain Asinius can hold that. Shouldn't be too difficult. It's a bridge. We can we can hold bridges till the end of time. Uh, when we've got... Where is he? Who did I send? Uh, when we've got Scavola old man up here, he'll take over this bridge, and I think I'll send Asinius up to clear the way past Bacchus and hold this bridge here. Actually, hang on, do you have an academy? You do, I should have sent Sabinus there. Oh no, you've got an academy too, cool. Awesome, because uh, people hanging out in cities with academies can get some really, really cool things. Like they can get surgeons, and I would love for him to have a surgeon, because his armies take casualties that we can't replace, not anymore. We need to, uh, we need to conserve the troops. And speaking of troops, we've got a legion up here that needs to be sent out and needs a commander. I think simply because of the time it'll take to get Sinner up to command this army, I'm going to put him in command of the next legion instead of the current one. And I'm going to put Picta in charge because it's basically just a reinforcement army. I'm thinking perhaps that I might put uh, Sinner in charge of taking on the Iberians. I'm not sure if I want to start that war early. I could. I definitely could, but I'm not sure that it would be a good idea. I think I might want to wait, just so that we can have some more troops in the field, so that we've got enough to go around. We want some reserves. We can't just, uh, we can't fight a forefront war, which is essentially what we're doing now anyway. We're fighting against Carthage, though Carthage is a bit of a broken power. We're fighting against Egypt and the Seleucids, who both almost outnumber us. Combined, they do. Individually, I think we're about on parity. But... It's tough, it's tough. Now, hopefully this will get him a mercenary captain. Oh, that's cheating. But we'll leave his legionaries there, because uh, we'll use them to form a core of a new legion that'll just hold Africa. And you can... Actually, hang on. Speaking of people who have good stuff, do you... You do! Awesome! Okay, cool, cool, cool. You are going to make a quick trip out to the army. And you are going to give him your surgeon, because he needs it more than you do. Mars, yeah, Mars is good. Mars is good for attacking. Scribe. No, no. Oh, Jupiter, yeah, Jupiter's actually pretty good. We'll take him too. And you don't need him. Alright, cool, there we go. Alright, now picked as a bit more of a formidable commander. He's not fantastic, but he's better than he was. And we want just these two. March on. So we'll board ship a Tarentum. That should only take him one turn, I think, to get there. This army might need a little bit longer. At least it's not being bogged down by artillery. In hindsight, having artillery would be cool, but we need speed. We need speed more than we need um, we need artillery. Do you have anything good? No. No, you do not. Okay. I think we're almost done. Just check for... Oh, hello, what are you? Ah, spy. Can you get in there? 93%. Yes. Okay, perfect. Good, good, good. So next turn when uh, Sulla attacks here, hopefully we'll be able to take it. Hopefully the gates will be open. I'm confident in assaulting this because the garrison is solely cavalry. If it's just cavalry and you have spearmen, yeah. You've basically got it in the bag. You just have to keep advancing and stabbing and you'll be set. So I think we've done all the preparation that we can do. 
I want Patinus here, just to be sure. Do I want to give him extra infantry? Well, I want to combine these units, at least. He's got five units of Roman infantry. Yeah, he needs at least one more. Uh, you can have this. And then next turn, after uh, this falls, I'll give him the Hastati as well. Scavola. You're actually not bad. You're, you're, you will make a good second in command. He's not bad at all. I might have him lead another army, though. I might have him uh, come down here and help with the conquest of Salamis. So, or Salamis. I think it's Salamis. Um, this navy could be in trouble. It could be. It could be. In fact, I think it is. I'm going to have Queso rebase to this area. And then hopefully, if we can take uh, this, if we can take this settlement next turn, we can rebase him to these docks. I guess I could put him there now, but I'm kind of worried about doing so because I just noticed this rebel navy. Yeah, yeah. Let Let's not. Let's not. Okay. Let's lock in those changes. Boom. Done. And let's see how things go. All right, you're sallying forth. What have you got? You've got a decent general, you've got some okay infantry. This one's gonna be a tough fight. All right, Skavola, get your command on. But if we take it, we've secured all of the settlements in our rear, with the exception of the ones on Salamis, or, or um, Cyprus. I can't remember if Salamis is the name of the island in ancient times or just a city. I do not know. So I'm just going to call it Cyprus. Right, now, you, you need to dump that and you need to dump that. You need to combine all of you into one group. You need to stand like so. You're going to be another group. You do not be defensive. Right now, you need to pull back just a little bit like that. You need to run like... You need to run. Just run. You need to run too. You need to be like that. You need to not be firing. I'm going to need these guys to take out the uh, missile cav that the Seleucids are sure to bring. You are going to have a very specific job. And you guys are the chasers. Alright, so Skavola is going to be the guy who uh, stops other people from retreating. He's going to be the chaser on this flank. But the Gallic Cav, they kind of need two units to be effective. So I'm hoping that this defensive formation will cause them to attack on a single flank. I'm going to move these guys back just a little bit so that the uh, Hastadi are the point of our wedge. Sort of. It, it, it's wedge-like. Come on, guys. Get in formation. Get in formation. Thank you. All right. Phalanx. All right. There we go. Now, let's speed this up until they decide that they're going to do something. All right. There's that missile cav. Where's the general? He's in that unit over there by the by the entryway. And now he's not. Now he's coming straight for us. Really? Oh, well that was just confusing. That's cheating. You're not allowed to do that. If you decide that you're going to come right out and meet us, you have to ride out and meet us for real. Maybe he is. I don't know, now I'm confused. Um, I do want these guys over here though. I want them to war cry. If he decides that he's going to charge at these fellows, because then we can mob him and hopefully with the bonus from Warcry, we can kill him. It looks like he's going for our flank, but it also looks like he's coming in alone for God knows what reason. He has the numbers to make a determined assault and make me watch my back. You know what? I'm just going to have you guys Warcry now. Hopefully that will help. I don't think it's an area of an effect thing. What are you doing? Warband. 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 
Alright, charge this son of a bitch. If he's just going to stand there, you charge him. General Cav, get over here. We need these guys to get in the back. Oi! You're not allowed to run. Come back. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. Don't come back. No, no, no. Slow down. Slow down. Alright, what are you doing? Is he going to try a flank charge? He might try a flank charge. In fact, I kind of hope he does. Alright, you guys have at it. Let's see if you can't catch him. We'll charge him from the flank. Oh hey, he just didn't move. Charge. Hello. How do you like these apples, bitch? Alright, you need to get on this. You need to get in there too. You can afford the gap. Got him! The enemy general is slain, and now his men fear us. It is time to press the attack! Alright, general man. Charge up that way. Gals, get in there. Charge. Toot. Damn straight. You run, bitches. You run. Charge and charge. You guys get back in position. I so hope they don't get caught by these fellows. They might, though. We'll have this cavalry here as a screen. Alright, you kick some ass, man. You kick some ass. You kill those sons of bitches. You kill them. Alright, fuck it. We need these guys. You get over here. You're going to be the screen instead. Run. Cavalry, you need to get up here. God damn it, don't stop. Keep moving, keep moving. We need to break as many of these units at once as we possibly can. Alright, you start firing. You guys get in position. You guys start attacking. Kill them all. Go, go, go. Get in there if you can. Kill all these sons of bitches. Nice. Skavola is doing good work. He's doing very, very good work. Get in there. Get in there. Go, go, go. We might have to fight our way in anyway. Oh, no. No, we've captured the gates. Alright, sweet. Keep killing those sons of bitches. Are you in? You're in. Alright, kill. You guys kill too. Alright, I think we got this. I think we do indeed. Take that. Cavalry back out. All right, we got you now, bitches. What you gonna do? Oh, snap. That, that's exactly what you were supposed to do. All right, go, go, go. Actually, I need you. You need to get in here, kill. Kill, kill, kill. And that is how you take and hold an objective, ladies. That is how you do it. Okay, glad to see the enemy routing. That would not be you guys, would it? No. Can it be? Hmm. I don't think they can get back in time. Oh, hello. Is that a unit moving up on me? That is a unit moving up on me. Kill them. 
Kill those sons of bitches. There's only ten of them left. Kill them. Did we lose the gate? No, it's still ours. Alright, there we go. Kill those sons of bitches. Come on, please break when you see these guys coming straight at you. Winded, fresh. Shaken, though. Ugh. We're gonna lose some of our cavalry. Yeah, it's not worth it. Not worth it. Okay, come on. We just need to kill these guys. Charge back at them. Hopefully they turn around. Ha! Boo. Game over, bitches. Game over. Yes, it is. Yes, it is indeed. Okay, so... He leveled up. Well, he gained an experience point. There's no leveling system, as it were. We suffered a lot of casualties, though, in, in terms of uh, our goals. Hastadi did pretty well, though. They did indeed. They're still a formidable fighting unit, so if we can put them up onto the um, into the field, we'll be okay. Now, what did... Um, really? Let's just occupy them. Oh, hi! Oh, snap! Oh, snap. Okay. This should be interesting. So, we have a unit of soldiers coming in from behind us as well. What, what have they got? Okay, it's going to very much depend on whether or not they pop up straight away. If they come in straight away, we might have a slight issue. I should have combined those two units, but I did not. Oh well, we, shall, we will get it done. So, we're holding a bridge. This is a bad thing to happen. Our situation, because we've got an enemy on two sides. You generally don't want that. Enemies on both sides is a bad plan. I think we can handle it, though. An easy thing to face, especially before breakfast. But think on this. They feel at least as bad. And don't have me to give them victory! Oh, I like it. He's got confidence. They the warriors of Seleucia. They are right to be proud, for they are worthy foes. Yeah, yeah, that, that's something to cheer about. It's good if your foe is worthy. The river, but we, must stop them. we will. There are a few more of them than there are of us, but so what? That said, our skills, our training, and our tactics are second to none. Numbers can be deceptive. This is also true. I have never yet lost a fight against these men. I have no intention of starting today. So together, we will gain another victory. Huzzah! We shall fight them to the death. Brave Romans! Prepare to defend yourself! Hell yes! I love it. Oh, hang on. Wait, show me the general man. Show me the general man. Show me. Which one are you? If it's you or you, that's still massively cool. I'm assuming him. Unless another unit of Prinkapes has that guy. Okay, front guy is standard bearer. So it's, uh, it's the guy at the back. That is a cool general thing. I do like that. See, this is why I love Rome Total Realism. It's the little touches. He looks like a proper general. I mean, Rome Total War had nice ones as well. It had kinda nice ones. But they didn't really look like generals. They just sort of looked like dudes. Okay, so we'll put our really strong units of Roman infantry right in front of this bridge. Now what we're gonna do, I wish we had some hoplites. We were gonna we're gonna have to borrow some from uh, from somewhere. Maybe from Skabola, if we can uh, get the movement allowance. 
But what we're going to do is we're going to plonk ourselves right here on this bridge, right at the end of it, and we're going to have the archers and slingers and such off to the side. I wish I had more Rodians. We're going to have these guys off to the side because we should be able to get people in the non-shield side from this area. So I'm going to advance them a little bit to the river and that's what we're going to do. We're going to fight like that. These guys, because we have enough men for once, even though we're outnumbered, we actually have enough men to fight a two-front battle because we've got these mercenaries who can hold the line and act as a strategic reserve. So they're going to be plonked right here in the middle. They're going to be right there. These guys, they're going to be our line against the fellows coming in from behind. Actually, I'll swap. Yeah, I'll swap him. He's going to be in reserve as well. And I'll put you in control five. So at least we've got one fairly full strength unit. Okay, cool. The Thracians are going to be a sort of reserve as well, but I want them... Actually, yeah, they'll, they'll be the proper reserve. They'll be right here, so they can head either way. And these guys will just dogpile the bridge. The bridge is what we have to hold. The bridge is going to be the hard bit. Everything else is going to be fairly easy. These gentlemen are not really going to have a whole heap of use. Cavalry in bridge battles is very, very useless. But you guys skirmish, don't you? No, you're the heavy cav, you don't skirmish, you just have, uh, lobbing spears. Okay. Okay, I think we're ready. The enemy have brought up more men. Well, that's a shame. We're gonna have to fight them all at once. But, depending on how quick they are, we might manage to still fight them separately. You guys are gonna get in here. And you are actually gonna f you're gonna stand over this way and you're gonna stand like that actually yeah don't even be a group Turn back to the bridge in a second, but for right this moment, I just want to refine our line. Alright, there we go. So we lobbed a lot of peeler across, I'm thinking, and that is the general's bodyguard right there. If we can kill the general really quickly, we might be able to panic the whole lot of them into charging just straight across the bridge. Alright, get in there. Get in there. Kill the general. Kill the general. War cry, war cry. Okay, if we can hold the bridge and kill the general, we will be set. I'm tempted to stop these guys from shooting, because they're just going to hurt us if they keep shooting at all the units they're attacking. Alright, we don't need the Thracians anymore, I don't think. We should be set. Move over there. We've got a bridge. They've got all these hoplites and phalanx units stuck at the other end of it. We've got their general. He's got four men left. He's got two men left. He's dead. Got him. Fuck yes. Alright, group number two. Stop shooting. Hold fire. No pursuit, no pursuit, no pursuit. you know what, hell with it. Charge them. We're fighting them on the bridge, but we're fighting at an advantage because they're all running. They're running for it. They're not ready. They don't want to face us. Alright, group number two, you guys need to start moving over this way. You need to get going. That should be most of their army running. Yep, most of their army is running. The more of them we kill, and the quicker we do it as they run across that bridge, the better. 
If we can prevent them from forcing their way into our lines, yeah, this is, this is going to be a slaughter. Get over there. Alright. General man. Need you in reserve. The game's getting a little bit clunky because we're killing them all so quickly. That's literally what it is. It's just that they're all dying so fast. The enemy army is in flight. Pursue them and drive them from the battlefield. Alright, they're running. They don't want to stick around for this. Get after them. Cavalry, see what you can do. No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. Okay. Yeah, these guys got massacred. How much of our force did we lose? 4%. That's pretty good. Yeah, they're going to get away. They got away. This is a yes, it is. It is a heroic victory. Most definitely worthy of Roman arms. Okay, so they killed about 90 of our men. The Gauls took the brunt of it, which is good. Those for Stardi, though. Damn. They got hit hard. They got hammered. Well, we can combine them with the uh, the other Hastati. I'm sure there's a spare unit of some. We can probably find some use for the uh, the rest of our men. Okay. Ah, oh, no, Harrius, no. He's dead. He's dead, Jim. Curses. Ooh, really? Um, yes. Hell yeah! Hell yes. Man of the Hour is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite things ever. Because it gives you a chance to get more generals that you otherwise wouldn't have. So obviously we had a spot or two left in our family tree, given how many provinces we had. So we got a Man of the Hour. He's a confident commander, he's got good military service, and he's a former Tribune. So he should get uh, Military Tribune back again. I might leave him in command of this army. Because he's doing good work. He did good work. Um, Do I have a spare unit for Stardi anywhere? I do, actually. They can make it to that bridge. They can, they can. Okay, well that's good. Um, I'll combine these two units. And I'll put the rest of them into other units as well. Sweet, sweet. Alright, what do we got here? Ah. It might be worth attacking these fellows. It might be. Actually, wait. Let, let's see what we can do. What, what can we place and where can we place it? You don't really have much infantry. You're kind of useless. I want to place... I want to place Drusus on this bridge, uh, on this uh, ford, rather. I want to, I really, really do, but I don't know if we can, because we need troops to face off against this lot. But we need to block the bridges. So I think what happened was this guy, or well, his second-in-command, sent out his entire army, and that's what we fought on the bridge, I'm pretty sure. Uh, there was an agent found, a Thracian agent. And another Thracian agent. We got some faction announcements. Oppius Junius Brutus. He takes after his father. He's open handed. He's a shit farmer. He's restrained. He's a natural born general. He's a gladiator. Th he's a gladiator fan, really. He's ugly and he's young. This man would think would like to think of himself as rugged, but as ugly as the north end of a pig going south would be closer to the truth. That's not very nice. Poor man. Alright. And Fabius Pictor got married. And Gnaeus Cornelius Scipio has the master of the horse. Where is he? 
Master of the Horse. Plus one command skill when commanding cavalry. I wonder if that counts for any cavalry. Or if it's specific. I do not know. Um, I do know that I want to send Brutus because he's pretty much good for nothing else. He's a, he's a commander. That's entirely his job. Alright, so the Legion is going to take an extra turn to get to where we need to go, but now they have some General Cav. And he will get there this turn. Hopefully we can get something good. Uh, let's go for these guys, because they're probably better than what we'll be able to get in the East. Sam Knights are very, very good. I like my Sam Knights. Alright, and you guys keep marching. So next turn they will get there. I would have liked for them to go faster, but I'm willing to take them arriving slower, if need be. Oh, hang on, were there um, were there any archers here or anything? No. Alright, drop them off at Pergamon, and head back. Archers? Yes! Hallelujah, praise the Lord, God Almighty! All right, you can't quite make it. Imperator. We might have to leave a bridge uncovered. General. Is there something slowing you down? Don't think so. Oh no, it says he can make it. All right, well. Let's say you move there. Yeah, he can make it. Okay, perfect. Um, which means you can take over bridge guardy duty up here. And do we have a unit of hoplites? We do. It's a smallish unit. Good god, frame rate. It's a smallish unit. It should do. And my frame rate is sucking balls right now, so I'm going to stop recording. I'm going to uh, see if I can fixed up, but I'm going to move those hoplites and uh, hopefully perhaps we'll decide that it doesn't really want to be such a big bitch.